slavery. I will expose those sent to assassinate Nam the Canon in detention. Otomeji voice out speaks after his maltreatment. Why is it that only when they have been attacked and dealt with, that is when they will know that they will want to speak the truth. When the opportunity was there for them to reveal the truth or tell the truth, when the opportunity was there, nobody, they refused to say it. It is now, it is now that nobody is even asking them of the truth, that they know that they are going to tell the truth. Prophet of the Meiji. So you know. Let's check the content. This is money news. Anambra State Governor Professor Chukuma Sulu has said that the popular pastor Chukuma Ohane Merem, who is also known as Odumeje, will pay for the cost of demolition his church. Soludo, who spoke on Friday night, said there were several notices sent to all house owners whose houses were marked for demolition and that they were all served notices and asked to remove such structures within a time frame. Speaking, Prophet Odumeje who countered Governor Charles Sundo, saying that both him and all the federal government authorities that have embarked on this evil doing, he said he will expose them. Most especially how they sent assassins to assassinate the IPOP leader, Nam de Kano. I will expose all their doings. I will bring their doings. To book. This that I've just been said is a complete lie. Though I was given the notice, but then I rejected it and returned it back, which they said they would look into it. Now, why demolishing my church? He cried. Um, you, you, you rejected it personally, returned it personally, but who told you that it was accepted? Huh? Maybe someone who is only looking for a favor from you have collected money and told you that you should worry not that nothing will happen. Is the one that has given you this hope. <laughs> Hey, Prophet Admiji, you better don't make a mistake, so you will not pay more. My only candid advice to you is to go and amend your church. At least they never removed the old structure. The parts that was chopped off can still be amended. By the grace of God, as God continues to use you, you will be able to get a better land in a better location and then relocate instead of creating more problems and causing more problems to yourself. You understand? Because as it is, I will tell you that this that has just taken place concerning your church demolition is already destroying your reputation. See the attitude you put up in the in the in the in the public land despite being a man of God. Do you think anyone will um we will, will give you a kudos on that? Nobody instead they will make more clear of you. They will make more clear of you that you have insulted your position as a man of God. That is it. That is the humble truth. So, 
if I were you, I would just do as demanded by Governor Charles Sorido. I would just quietly, quietly uh, surrender and give up with whatever I have been told to do. You are not the first. You are not the second. Neither will you be the last. Look at um, some of the big churches we have in Nigeria yeah. has been chopped off by by the by the government by the federal government. Yet they never um, they never sued the government or challenged the government for doing such a thing. How much more you? So, that just is, so, my dear people and my listeners in the house, you heard and you've listened to Prophet of Meje and his uh, actions. All right, I would like to hear from you, at least to know what your take and your own opinion on this very broadcast. Maybe don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any 